is going on guys this is a helmet i got a couple days ago it is filled with tons of character and yeah with that said let's get right into it so i bought this from a person and the story with this comes as it was a grave marker from a fallen german soldier obviously a vet took it off the grave marker and then after taking it and coming back home with it he made it into a lamp believe it or not um you see things like this all over throughout the war um you see pictures of grave markers you see pictures of helmets being used different ways and this is just one of them very neat very cool and just tons of character which is the only reason i bought this so that's the story like i said the story doesn't make it 100 percent true but you know to me it's cool enough but with that said let's go ahead and get into it on this left side you can see the obvious obvious jeez can't talk single decal here helmet or here helmet here decal um whatever hit this decal or hit the helmet hit it pretty hard as you can see it left a gruesome dent and removed the decal in the helmet paint there's another ding right here another one right here and the one right here actually broke the uh broke the helmet metal itself and what's cool about this is it correlates to the liner on the inside, just tying everything together. So it's pretty neat. Um, we'll move, we'll go ahead into the front. And you can see those dings. Just pretty deep hits. And then, of course, your right side of your M42. You don't want to see a decal right here unless it's an M42 police helmet or obviously an SS helmet. But that's good. We don't want to see anything right there. And then we'll move to the back. And you got your last big hit right there. I actually have a small one right there, but <laughs> that's one of the last major ones. And now the cool part of the helmet is this part right here, which I like, is that perfect hole right there. So really, if it was a grave marker and it stayed a grave marker, it wouldn't be perfectly circular cut like that, right? They put a nail into the top of the helmet, hammered into the cross or whatever they were hammering it to. It's not going to leave a perfect hole, right? It's going to leave um the metal going inside and in different shape and size different shape and sizes towards the inside of where that broke the shrapnel of the helmet or the metal of the helmet so that's what you'd expect to see but like the story said is the vet brought it home and made it into a lamp so he took the hole that was already there that was made by the nail cut into a perfect perfect circular and uh mounted it to a lamp now like I said, we'll get into the inside now. I have a plastic bag because the liner is very tired. I mean, it could fall apart any time now. So I keep plastic bags in there just to keep the shape of the liner and take the stress of it just hang in there. But uh, with that said, we'll look at the inside. And it's just ugly in there, right? It's not, not very much left, but it is there. And that shrapnel hit that I told you all about earlier, that was on the outside that broke the helmet itself. You can see it actually dent the liner band right there, which is just, it's just neat. It adds a little bit more character, right? And then we'll look at that perfect circle. And if you look pretty close, you can see where, I don't know if my camera's that good, guys. But you can see the perfect outline of the metal that it was sitting on, the base of the lamp. But yeah, guys, that is basically it for this video. I um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully be posting sooner rather than later. I have another helmet coming in. But this has just turned into my favorite one. Just an ugly duck with loads of character. But with that said, guys, that's basically it. I hope you guys had a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, bye.